So today we're going to build a storage shelf. I've cut grooves with the saw that are the right size for the wheels so nothing will fall off. And I'll show you how I built it. This is my train room. I've purchased some new coaches at a new locomotive while I was over in the UK. I realize now that I am not going to be able to store everything on the layout on sidings. It's just not possible. Sometimes I want to change the era up and that's the way I can do it. By just putting on the trains and locomotives that I want to run. I think this wall right here looks like a good spot to put it. So I've got the lumber in the garage and I'm going to go out there and build some shelving just for trains. I guess my garage is a mess too. There's the work area. There's the scooter. 500cc X9 Piaggio. And there's my bicycle which I, uh, I'm sorry but I just don't ride it much. So the workspace is cleared out. And this is the lumber that I bought. It's pre-primed pine. This is eight feet long. And I got some underlayment. It's very thin. I got some underlayment for the back to keep everything square and give it a backstop. It was inexpensive and yet I think it'll be quite strong and it'll work just fine. And I think I can paint it okay because I intend to paint the whole thing when I'm done. Well, let's get started. I better make a disclaimer first of all. I'm no expert at this. I, uh, I just barely know what I'm doing. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check this piece of uh, two foot by four foot underlayment. I'm going to check it and make sure it's square because if it's not square then the whole thing is going to be uh, problematic in the end. Yeah, it doesn't look too, too far off. At least not on this corner. I'll check the rest of them. It turned out all four corners were as square as I can measure them. So I'm satisfied that in the end the shelving should be square. Depending on me, of course. And yes, of course, I have a plan. So this is the plan. I measured very carefully the backer board and it is slightly under the dimensions that I hoped for. It's not quite 48 inches wide and it's not quite, or yeah, well in this case wide, and it's not quite 24 inches tall. So I'll have to scale everything down accordingly, but in general terms this is what I intend to do. And the joints I've decided to use are going to be like that. First thing I need to do is cut off all the stock to length. So I'll start doing that and I'll be back with you in a little bit. What I'm doing now is I'm testing where the grooves are going to go in the shelves to make sure that that's going to work properly. Looks like that would hold it on there, but I think that what I need to do slightly farther apart. There are the finished pieces, and here's where the rubber meets the road. Another silk. Okay, well, that's done. Next part of it is making the joints. I'll be back to you shortly. Well, looks like I got lucky one more time. And like I always say, I'd rather be lucky than good. Okay, so I'm going to paint that up, then I'll assemble it, and it'll be done. I'll show you when I'm done. This is day two of the build. 
and it's in the morning it's about uh, 15 degrees here so uh, what I use to paint it with is this porch paint it dries very quickly and it's a very tough surface it's meant for porches where you would walk, for the flooring where you would walk. So it's it's very tough. I don't want it flaking off on the wheels of my rolling stock, so best if it stays put and can handle heavy traffic. When we left off yesterday, and I spent about five hours on it yesterday. When we left off yesterday, I had fitted it together to be sure that it fit, and it did. And the next thing I'm going to be doing is gluing, um, gluing it together. And I'll probably use my little uh, air nailer to tack it while I'm gluing. It just makes it a little bit easier to do it that way. So I'll be back with you in a minute. I accidentally got the bottom on the top and the top on the bottom, but uh, I ripped it off and got that fixed. So I'm putting the bottom piece on now. Try to get, the, get these in the same holes as last time, but you know, that's pretty hard to do. I didn't have clamps that were long enough to go all the way across, so I had to double up and hook one to the other. There we go. A little standing, a little gluing, I mean, a little sanding, a little wood filler. Now I have to put the back on. Sorry about the airplane, I live near an airport. When you're doing this, don't forget your safety glasses. I'm not going to glue, glue the back on, besides it's uh, pretty stable and this stuff is fine so it's going to move around a little bit. So a little uh, filler, fill up the nail holes and whatnot and uh, I'll be ready to hang it. Be back at you shortly here. The holes are filled, nail holes that is and any other holes I found. Irregularities in the this wood. This wood is a uh, finger jointed pine, and it's pre it's primed. If you didn't have a table saw and couldn't make the joinery, you could always screw this together with screws. It'd probably work just fine. The backer would hold it square, so you'd be all set. The only problem that you'd have would be the grooves for the wheels and you could always use track for that. I chose the grooves because it's uh, way cheaper than putting track on the whole thing. So to mount it, I ripped the board at an angle and mounted one on the back of the shelving unit and this one I'm going to mount to the wall. That's not going anywhere. Now one last thing I have to do is I've got to put a spacer at the bottom. I think we can hang it now. Ta-da! Okay now I'll go get some trains and stuff to put in it. Well now if I want to change eras I just put one era up here and put the other ear on the track and away I go. I was trying to build sidings for everything but I could see that that was going to be a losing battle. This I think solves the problem. I can get to see all my trains. I don't have to put them away in boxes because that's what I've been doing is putting them away in boxes and I was wearing out the boxes, taking them out, putting them back, taking them out, putting them back. 
And I was trying to keep the boxes fairly pristine. I don't know why exactly. But this solves the problem. Bye from Farland.